so there has been a lot of talks about the google gemini's api and how it is seamlessly integrated with your pixel devices and your android devices as well you are seamlessly able to integrate or use the gemini app so that you are able to interact with the ai what about we can use the same api same gemini api in our spring boot application so how we can do it and how spring ai provides us the functionality to work with the gemini api so let's see that and let's build a spring boot application with spring ai with gemini's api hey what's up everyone i am shabir and you are watching daily code buffer and in this channel we build a lot of different tutorials we go through a lot of different topics about the java about the kubernetes about the cloud artificial intelligence and lot more so if you are interested in such topics and want to know more about each and everything then do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming latest videos so what we will do today is we are going to build a spring boot application so let's first understand the gemini api so what i have done is i have just opened the google gemini here and you can see that this is the similar kind of interface what you have seen in the chat gpt as well here you can ask anything to the Gemini and you will get the response based on the AI. So if I ask that, tell me a, tell me a dead joke and it should be able to answer me that, that I tried starting a hot air balloon business, but it never took off. Okay. And here you can see that you have different options to interact with the Gemini. You have the options to upload the images, to have the audio transcription as well. And here you can see that this is the Gemini 1.5 flash model has been used. And if you want to use the 1.5 pro, then you need to upgrade to Gemini advanced. And you have a bunch of different sections here. Here you can see the different chats available, chat history and everything. Okay. Now, if you want to use this API, what you have to do is you have to go through the Gemini API, just search the, with the Gemini API and here you will get the option for Google AI studio. Okay. So what we will do is we'll just go to the Google AI studio and we will create our account here so that we can get the access to the Gemini API and we can build the application with it. So just go to the Google AI studio. And here you can see that you will be greeting with this page that gets started with the Gemini API. Here you will see all this information, how to get the API key and all those different options here. What you will do is you can directly go to the get your API key or you can go to sign into Google AI studio. So let me just go to sign in here and you also can sign into the page and just accept the legal notices here. Okay. And once you log in, you will be redirected to this page. And here you can see that you have the option to get the API key. Okay. Once you have logged into your account, you will get an option to get the API key. And this API key is really important. What you can do is you can just click on the get API key here. And once you get it, you can see that this is the curl command that you have. Okay. And with this curl command, you can call the API. So this is the API where you need to pass the text information. This is the post URL and this is your key that you need to pass. Okay. This is the API, how it will work and you will get the response back. This is the option to create the API key. Once you click on this to create the API key, you will get the API key. You need to make sure that you are keeping that API key safe and you are not exposing that to the internet. Alongside that, what will happen is you will also need to have the Google cloud account. So once you create the API key, your Google cloud account will also be there. That will also be sign in and you will create a project within it. So once your project is created, then you can add the other information. So let me just use my account, which I have already created the key for. Hey, let's talk about something we deal with every day. That is passwords. How many of them remember to struggle them or even worse, try to use the same password across multiple systems. And one of your password is hacked. Your game is over. That's where NordPass comes in, created by the minds behind the NordVPN, world's most popular VPN service. NordPass is an easy to use password manager designed to keep your personal and business accounts secure, safe and stress-free. With NordPass, you can secure and store your passwords, credit card information and even get an alert if your data is breached on dark web. You can safely share your credentials for autofill across your team members without 
any hassle with just one click. It uses end-to-end -end encryption and zero-knowledge architecture, so no one will be able to see your password, not even NotPass themselves. It's super simple and works across all your devices. It's fast, simple, secure, and stress-free. So, ready to take control of your passwords? Use code DAILYCODE at NotPass.com slash DAILYCODE to get a three months of NotPass business. Trust me, once you use it, there is no going back to your sticky notes and emailing your passwords. So stay secure and stay stress free with NordPass. Go to nordpass.com slash daily code. Now back to the video. So here you can see that I have logged into my account and here you can see that I have already created the API key here. And here you can see that you will have the information like what is the project number, where you can see the API key, what is your API key and the project information where you can go to. Okay. And your billing information as well. Don't worry, we are not going to pay anything because once you create a new fresh Google account, you will get a $300 of credit, which you can use for all this data. So once you create the API key, you will have this project information and everything created. Once you click on this, you will go to your project console. This is a Google cloud console. And here you can see that your project information. So this is your Gemini API project. Here you can see that this is the same project. Okay. And once you see that your project is created and everything is configured here automatically. Okay. What you can do is you can go to enabled API and services to enable the vertex API for us to use. Okay. Because it's a Gemini API with vertex API. So that's what we are going to use. So just go to enabled APIs and services. And here you can see that you have the vertex AI API. This is what I can see because I have already enabled it. But for you, it will directly open a page like this. So let me, just, let me just click here. And this is the page that you will see and here you will get a button to enable this API. Okay. So you need to enable this vertex AI API. And once you try to enable this vertex AI API, you need to set up a billing account as well. Okay. This is to make sure that if your free credit is been utilized, then there is a way for Google to charge you on your use basis. So once you click on enable API and you set up your billing details for your billing details, you need to add your credit card information and you need to verify your credit card as well. Okay. Once you do that, what you can do is you are going to enable this. And once it is enabled, you will be able to see all those information here. What is the quota and system limits? What is the credentials? What is the cost of uh, all the APIs that you have hit? All those information you can see. And if you want, you can also see your billing account management. So once you click on here, I have already opened here. Okay. Here you can see that this is my billing information and this is my project ID. Okay. And for this, I have already added the billing information. So once you add the billing information, okay, you will be able to see everything. You can disable the billing and lock the billing and change the billing information as well later when you want to do it. Okay. So once this is set, what we did, three things we did here, we created the, we went to the Google AI studio to create our key while creating the key, it got us the key as well. And it created the project as well for us in the Google studio. Once that is there, once the project is created, I went and enabled the API as well. That is a vertex AI API while doing it that I enable the billing information. That's all you need to do for now. Okay. Once all this information is done, then you have the access to Gemini API to build in your project. Okay. Once that is done, what we can do is we can go to the spring initializer to create our project. So let's go to the spring initializer and create our project. So let me just go to spring initializer. That is the start.spring.io. And here, what we will do is we are going to create the project. So let me just add the group information as daily code buffer and the artifact demo as Gemini AI demo uh, packaging would be of jar file Java version is 21 Maven project spring boot 3.4 and the web dependency I'm going to add because I'm going to create the rest API. Once that is done, I'm going to search for Gemini and this is what I'm going to add. That is the vertex AI Gemini spring AI support for Google vertex Gemini chat engine. Okay. Currently you can see that it doesn't support embedding, but that's fine. But we are able to, we will be able to do all those prompting. Okay. So let's add this and generate the project and open an IntelliJ idea. 
so here you can see that i have opened that gemini ai demo project in intellij idea and this is our project now what we can do is we can build the application so for that what we can do is we can go to the documentation because that's the best place we can get the latest information so let's go to the documentation i am with the spring ai and this is the latest snapshot version available and within it i am in the google vertex ai and the vertex ai gemini okay so here you can see that this is all the entire documentation here and here you can see that how you can do the prerequisites so that you can connect your spring ai application to google cloud so for that you need to install the google cloud cli so that's the base minimum thing that you have to do to connect to your google cloud applications this is for all the google services that you have to do so that you can connect your local environment to the google cloud okay so if you go to this page okay so whatever the uh, operating system that you are using based on that there are the steps given so that you can configure your system it is really simple you just need to download the binaries and you need to just go through the different commands given here okay if you go to this page in this page itself uh, you are getting the link to this so i will be adding the link in the description below for you to check out so just go through this page i have mac so i have followed this documentation for mac os i downloaded this apple m1 uh, silicon google cloud cli darwin file i unzipped it and i just ran this install.sh file after that what i did i did the gcloud in it and then once that was done i went here and i did this to command that is the i config my project and project id i given uh, the project id you can get from here so if you click here you will get this project id this is what i have given okay once that is done you need to do google cloud auth application default login so once you do this your default application access will be provided will be stored in your local machine so you will be able to log in with your local application to your google cloud so don't worry if you are not following the steps that's okay when you start your application once there is any exception that will give you all the details about what you need to do to set up your account okay so it's really easy so once you do this okay once everything is done you can see that this is the dependency that we need to add this is the same dependency that we added here you can see wordx ai gemini and once you do it it's simple thing we just need to add couple of details we need to add the project id the location that's it okay so let's add this two information that's the two main information that we need so let's add it so here you can see that uh, i have added the two properties here that is spring ai wordx ai gemini project id the project id which i'm using and the location location i've added as asia southeast one how do i get it if you just search for Gemini serving locations just google it and you will get this page i will add the link to this as well in the description below so here you can see that these are the different locations where you can configure so if you are in america uh, these are the regions that you can configure for europe this is the region that you can configure and for asia pacific this is the region so i have just configured this region for now okay so you can use any of this region from here so once that is configured and once the project id from here whatever you get those two are configured you should be good to go the other thing is you should be also logged into your google cloud account using the g cloud cli once that is done what we can do is we can build the application so let's go back to intellij idea and what we will do is we can create the controller here so let me just create a new java class and within controller package i can build chat controller okay and this is going to be my rest controller okay and as always what we are going to use is we are going to use the chat client so let me just add private final chat client okay and let me just initialize with constructor parameters and rather than chat client i will just add chat client dot builder and let me just change it to builder and from here i'm going to start with builder dot build method okay so your ch chat controller is initialized with the chat client as well so now let's create the api so i'm just defining public string chat prompt okay and this is going to be my get mapping 
and what I will do is I am going to take a request parameter here. So let me just take a request param. Okay, and this is going to be my string message. Okay, and what I will do is I will do return chat client dot prompt and I'm going to pass the message prompt here dot call the API and that get the content out of it. You can see that your API implementation is done. This is the same implementation that we have been using and been doing for our uh, OpenAI as well and for the other uh, models as well we did for OpenAI we did for Llama all those things and for Gemini also we are doing the same thing you can see that there is no implementation change the only change that we did is the application properties file and the Google API configuration okay with this change we should be able to start our application as well so what we can do is let's go here and let's start the application but we need to make sure that you are connected to your G cloud using your CLI as well. That is a really important thing. You need to follow those steps as well. So here you can see that your application is started and what we can do is we'll go to the browser and what we'll do is we'll do go to localhost and we will call this API. Tell me a joke. And here you can see that I am getting the information. I'm able to connect and I'm getting the data back as well. Okay. And if I say something else like tell me about solar system and I should be able to execute this prompt as well. So we'll wait for a second to complete and here you can see that I am getting all the information about the this prompt as well. So now you can see that I am able to create my Spring AI application with Spring Boot and I'm able to connect with the Gemini API as well. Okay. Let's go through again what we did here. What we did, we went to the Google AI studio to create our API key. And with that API key, I was able to generate my project and the API key as well. This is the API key that you will get. You need to make sure that you keep it handy. So whenever you want to call the API, okay, directly you can call it. And here you can see that this is the API key that you need to pass. You can call this via Postman directly as well. And if you want to build an application with directly using this API, we can do that as well. But as Spring AI supports internally each and everything, we will be using the Spring AI. Okay. Once that was done, you can see that you will uh, be creating a project as well. That project information is here. Once you log into here, you need to enable the Vertex AI API. I have enabled the Vertex AI API and added the billing information as well. Once you do that, you need to set up all those information in your project. What you need to do, you need to add the project ID and you need to uh, say that which location you are connecting to. Once that is done, you need to log into this project as well. Okay. So to log into this project, you can just come here and you can install the Google Cloud SDK, install it and initialize it. That's it. So once you have installed this, you just need to log in. So once you logged in from here, once the initialization is done, you just have to use couple of commands that is the config, setting the config properties for your project and the application login. Once you log into this, you should be good. So this is the command that I have executed to log in. That is the G cloud auth application default login. That's it. Okay. And, and once you log into this, it will also ask you to set your default project and everything. You just set, give those information and you're good to go and everything will work seamlessly. I will add the link to this project as well in the description below for you to check out. But this is how easy it is to work with the Gemini API as well. If you have any doubts regarding any of the things that we have covered, then do let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.